Iran, can you hear me? Yes. You perfectly okay, can. great. A uh, question about Elon Musk. He's been in the news quite a bit lately. Yeah. Um, and you've, you've talked before about your mixed feelings about Elon Musk in that on the one hand, he's uh, this audacious, bold innovator that's pushing the limits um, of, of um, just technology in general. But on the other hand, he's taking a lot of money from the government, right? So, um, and I've asked this question before, but I think I didn't put it correctly. So previously you mentioned that when individuals take money from the government, you know, you mentioned that that's fine because ultimately it's your own money, right? Because government is taking your money in taxes. Well, so how is that different from Elon Musk saying government is preventing me from making all this money because of regulations or taxes or whatever. So I'm taking this money back. How can he not legitimize that? If he actually said that, then I would say it's okay for him to take the money, right? So when I said it's okay for individuals to take the money, it's okay for individuals to take the money if they're anti-taking the money and they're publicly anti-taking the money and they make an issue out of not taking them, that, they, that, that the money shouldn't be distributed, they're not taking the money, that the money shouldn't be distributed. So the people who are anti-government doing this stuff, it's okay for them to take the money. Um, if Elon Musk came out and said, look, I don't think government should subsidize solar. I don't think government should subsidize electric cars. I don't think it's any of the governments. You know, I want this to be a competitive market. But look, they're handing out the money. I don't think they should, but they're handing out the money. You know, I'm going to take it. Um, and and uh, it's, it's my money partially and partially my competitors are going to get it if I don't get it. Right. Then I'd say, OK. But that's not what he's saying. He actually, as far as I can tell, he lobbies, he encourages the government to give him more money uh, and, and to get more involved in climate change and in, uh, in, in electric cars, right? So that's I, I, what upsets me. On the other hand, I have to say that in the, since COVID, my respect for, for him has gone way up and I'm willing to ignore some of the bad because you know, he's left California. He stood up to local government and didn't shut his plant down. He's been very vocal about the best thing government can do if it wants economic growth is leave us alone. So he's been far more outspoken in a positive way. You know, he, he hasn't in a long time talked about the fact that the robots are going to kill us all, right? He, he used to do that. He used to have this whole AI. The government needs to regulate AI because AI is dangerous and you need to be careful. So he is so frustrating because he's obviously off the charts intelligent and off the charts admirable in his entrepreneurship. That is, he's willing to take an idea and just run with it. And, and, even, and, and, he, and he comes up with these, I mean, like the tunneling company, right? Who would have thought of a tunneling company? But he's got this amazing technology to build these tunnels really, really fast. I, I don't think the environmentalists will let him, but but imagine, you know, because there might be some worms under there or who knows what kind of species under there. Um, but what a mind this guy has. And, and he thinks out of the box and he, he, he's constantly thinking and changing and innovating and and the ambition of going to Mars and, and having that ambition 20 years ago and setting up a company when it was like, yeah, you got to be kidding. And then achieving everything that's achieved and getting to the point where we are today where, yeah, I, I think SpaceX is going to go to Mars. If, if, if the government doesn't stop them, I think they're going to go to Mars. What, what's going to stop them, right? He's, he's, ra he's got the capital. He's raised the capital. They've shown that they can do the technology. They, they've got a business model that produces revenue right now. They will go to Mars. I mean, this is cool, right? So I, I become a big fan of, of his and at the same time, I want to strangle him uh, on the global, you know, on the global warming stuff and on the electric cost stuff and on the, on the other stuff. And, and, and even Tesla, you know, it's a good car. It's, it's, you know, as Alex Epstein calls it, it's a coal car, which is fine, you know, running on coal. But it's, 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 a, it's a, you know, if you sit in it and you friends who have it and drive it, it's a cool car to drive. Um, yep. Yeah. Uh, has Alex done any kind of uh, analysis or shown any numbers as to how much 
Tesla is polluting, quote unquote, the environment compared to a regular I car because know. it uses coal, right? I don't okay. know, but the numbers are going to be amazing because a you've got to use, you know, given given that we're not using nuclear, um, you know, you have to use carbon fuels to fuel it, right? Uh, and second, and coal is still a major major source of energy for electricity. And second, uh, you know, people have looked at battery, the batteries, and batteries are unbelievably polluting or whatever. And, 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 you know, from a carbon perspective, carbon, whatever, inefficient or whatever they call it. So there's no, you know, it's not, it's, you know, I, I don't know why Musk does what he does. I, I wouldn't be surprised if Musk thought it, it would be cool. It would be really cool to build an electric car. You know, one way to do it is I can manipulate the government into giving me a lot of money to fund this and help me raise the capital. I wouldn't, be, I wouldn't be shocked if he th actually thought that and went about and did it just like he does. He just does it and, and it works, right? Um, so I, yes, I am comp I'm really, really mixed about him. But, you know, when I listen to him, half of what he said is amazing and admirable. And then it's cognitive mishmash. He's got, a, his mind is like goes all over the place. And it totally. doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything. And I don't understand a mind like that. I have no idea how it works. But the part that is rational is amazing. It's one of the best minds in the world today. Thank you. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes. All right, before we go on, reminder. Please like the show. We've got 163 live listeners right now. Uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share and uh, you can support the show at yourunbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if, you, even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please. <laughs>